Great song to kick off your 4th of July weekend, Lee Greenwood, as we lead into the first federal program. And, of course, we thank you for listening to us on 92.1 WROI, WROIFM.com. Streaming audio live on RTC Channel 5, streaming audio and video live, RTC Channel 4. Scott's in the studio with his own coffee cup this morning. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, hey, sir. Hey, nice to have you back with us. Good to be here. And, of course, if you have a smartphone or an Android, you can download the TuneIn radio app or something similar to that. Take us wherever you happen to be going. And, of course, today with the weekend coming up, we'll be to First Federal Savings Bank where you can say good morning to Dick Belcher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Gloria. Oh, good morning. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, sir. <laughs> said you got your coffee cup. I don't see it. Oh. <laughs> it's over there behind him somewhere. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, right. there it is. He's all set. Yeah, 4th of July weekend. It is. Big weekend. You bet. And, and it comes on Monday. That gives everybody a three-day It does, holiday. naturally. Naturally. Right. You know, they, 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 of course, they've changed some of the major uh, holidays to be on Monday. Right. Like Memorial right. Day and a few of those. But they haven't messed around with the 4th of July Oh, yet. well, but we have in Fulton County. Well, that's right, we did. We're yeah. shooting off the fireworks on July 3rd so that Akron can shoot theirs off on July 4th. Oh. Yeah. I, I and heard. so you could get two fireworks demonstrations this uh, weekend. Okay. And good ones. And and Kiwana has one also. Do they? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. I thought the reason we were doing it ours on Sunday, I say ours, Rochester, was because if you did it on Monday, it's so late that when it gets done, nobody can get to work the next day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure that figured into the thinking about that, yes. Well, we got a perfect weekend coming. It'll be nice. It's going to be 70 today, and right. then 75, and then 78, and, and sunny. Got a nice rain last night, about two tenths okay. to a quarter. Farmers are all grinning and smiling. They liked that, didn't they? Happy. And, and they wish it would have stayed a little longer, but they'll be and, happy with and, what they got. Well, they, let, they, get, they get some rain earlier on. Cause and that's good, too. Farmers got short memories. You know. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Well, the, the corn is as high as an elephant's eye on the 4th of July. Okay. <laughs> As long as I always thought it was knee high on the fourth of July. Oh, okay. Is, is that yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. 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 knee high. Well, I was going to say if it. Well, but the song says the corn is high as an. Well, elephant. that's right. It does it, say it. It better be a short right. elephant. To, right. <laughs> but the crops really look great. Good start. Yes. Yeah, good, good start. Good start. Rue Luck will not be looking for food stamps. No, he won't. No, he won't. Uh, he's he's uh, going to make be making twenty two million a year. Highest paid in the NFL. Yeah. Till the next one comes along. Well, that's true. Brady, for right now. Brady, uh, Indianapolis's favorite quarterback, is uh, he's, Yeah, he's way down the list, yeah. isn't he? I noticed that too. Joe Flacco was second, which really surprised me. Yeah, had a good, good uh, negotiating. Yes, they did. Michael Phelps qualified again. Going back, fifth yeah. Olympics. Yeah, first male. Swimmer to right. go to five. Now I I just hope he's not in jail by the time the oh, Olympics he come on. He'll be ready to go. Will he? He'll be fired up, ready to go about this. Yeah, he's. They have a new baby. He's all set. Yeah. He's got his act together now. Okay. Speaking of act together, Johnny Manziel was suspended <laughs> again. <laughs> or act not together, as the mm. case may be. Okay. Now, did you ever hear, hear of Coastal Carolina? They won the baseball NCAA World Series. They did. Yes. You didn't answer my question. Did you? Had, uh, you ever heard I of had them uh, vaguely heard of them. I, did you heard of Coastal Carolina? Been there. Yes. Oh, he's been there. Wow. And uh, why would you be there? There was a golf course nearby. Ah. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, they won the World they Series. They did. NCAA. Congratulations. Yeah, to them. that was exciting. Okay, some interesting upcoming events. Rochester Downtown Partnership hosts a 5K color run walk tomorrow. Okay. The race starts at 7th and Madison Street. Registration begins at 7 and the race begins at 8, just so you know. Okay. And uh, after that, they're going to have a beach party. Excellent idea. Yeah, the weather is going to be good. 
Akron Area, Area Arts League is sponsoring a talent show tomorrow uh, during the, no, correction, during the uh, Akron 4th of July celebration. Monday? Monday. Show starts at 5 o'clock. Okay. Akron Public Library's 4th of July book sale. Yeah, it goes on all weekend. They got books there to sell, so stop in. I think it's important to remember, too, Akron was founded on the 4th of July. I did not know that. Yeah, How they were founded on the 4th of July many, many years ago, of course, but uh, that's why they've always maintained their 4th of July celebration. Mm. I don't want to put you on the spot, but what year was that? I'm going to say a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> You know, Scott. 1836, maybe? 18. Yeah. Somewhere I just in saw there. The photo somewhere. Somewhere in there, I mean, yeah. In the, in the 1800s, right? We can go it's with it. older that. than I am. <laughs> when you took these exams down at IU, if you could put somewhere in this area that you, you passed. Yep. Yep. Okay. Multiple choice down there. A lot of multiple choice. <laughs> all, all with the correct answers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we better. <laughs> okay, the Round Barn Golf Club at Mill Creek will offer free golf cart tours for citizens who have never been to or would enjoy seeing the course. Excellent idea. Yeah, that that is. Uh, somebody doesn't play golf and has never been right. out there. It, it, you know, it's really it's a, a it's beautiful it site. It, it absolutely is. That's right. And it's one of Fulton County's major assets. You bet. And, uh, They've done a great job over the years of taking care of that. So, American Legion will take over the fireworks. We mentioned about right. that in 17. They're working with the chamber on this Sunday's fireworks. The show is at dusk, July 3rd, at the Fulton County Airport with a rain date of July the 4th. Right. Donations, of course, are welcome. And that will follow music on Manitow from Brent Evans' home again this year, which is happening as well. Gloria, I'm sure, is aware of that. We're going to talk, mm -hmm. by the way, later this morning with Brent and Catherine about 9.30 or so. All right. About oh, music on Manitow. Mm -hmm. So, we look forward to that. Well, we're having Customer Appreciation Day next Friday. You are indeed. That's right. And, the 50th. And uh, Congratulations. Big time. Big party. <laughs> yeah. And the uh, Sally's ice yeah. cream is going to be. <laughs> I know. We're all, we're all looking forward I'm to that. <laughs> we're all looking forward to that. <laughs> we have we have 700 cups ordered. So Excellent. We can get there early. Yeah. Start about 11 o'clock. Okay. So, so uh, Brent's going to do his thing on the Sunday? He is. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. The boats will be out on the yeah, road. Oh, yes, they I will. I was going to say, you need to yes, they get, will. get your boat around and buzz enjoy. out there and enjoy the evening. That's right. Okay. The awards reception for the Student Visual Arts Competition, sponsored by the Akron Area Arts League, is at 2 o'clock Saturday at the Fulton County Public Library. The arts work will be on display at the library until the reception. The public is invited, of course. Glad to have you. Gordy Howe passed away. He did. And Pat Summit. Right. Two big sports people. Athletic icons, no Woo. doubt about it. Pat Summit. Uh, I didn't realize. I think she got the head job at age 22. Yeah, she was young. She was like 40 years or so at Tennessee, wasn't she? Yeah. Thereabouts? Yeah. Well, died at uh, 64. Right. Alzheimer's. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to get that. No. Mm. No. Okay, some flowers to the cast in FFA chapter. They came away from the 87th Indiana FFA Convention at Purdue June 13th and 16th as one of the top 20 chapters in the state. Congratulations. They've always really you done bet. well there. Also, we to give some flowers to all those that worked on the Relay for Life program. Uh, last Saturday started at 4 o'clock, we're at the midnight. Uh, they uh, have netted about a uh, little over $34,500. Excellent. First Federal gave $3,600. Oh $3, uh, that was through uh, First Federal's uh, contribution for the 50th anniversary, $1,000 okay. that uh, we are giving to charity, one different every month, plus those uh, of uh, our team that collected that. So. Really, For Life does a great job every year. And of course, uh, cancer research getting better and better all the time. Yeah. Well, 
we we had a lot of news last Thursday when the Europeans uh, had their little vote, or Britain, <laughs> the Brits had their vote. Well, they considered it to be a big vote, but yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, if you recall, the Dow dropped 900. It then, did, and then uh, and then another 500 the next day, and but they gained almost they gained 90 percent of it back. Yeah. Probably finish it up today. Right. So I think that speaks well for the uh, maybe the confidence that right. people have in in the stock market and uh, in and in our economy. Well, as you said so many times, it's all about perception. Yeah. And interest rates uh, went down again this week. Uh, we dropped an eighth on uh, most all of our uh, mortgage loan interest rates. And uh, yeah, the, the uh, ten-year Treasury bill is one point four nine. Just unbelievable. Wow. So now the question is, uh, you know, how long is that going to last? Well, we've been talking about that for <laughs> two or three Se years. Several years now. Yeah, we? yeah. Did you know this is the sixtieth anniversary of our interstate highway system? Uh, no. It is. President Eisenhower. That's right. So all those, you know, like 65 and 30, and all those interstate systems yeah. uh, came from Eisenhower. Quite the project. And uh, this, the story is that the motivation that he got was, of course, he was commander-in-chief right. of all the European forces in World War II. And uh, Germany, under the guidance of Mr. Hitler, uh, had some wonderful roads. Right. Autobots, mm -hmm. and uh, some of them are well. I think most of them are still still there, there today. Sure. Yeah, and uh, I've I've been over there. If you don't drive eighty miles an hour, <laughs> you get, and a hundred is just right. well, that's okay. Yeah. Of course, you got to convert it from k to kilometers. To kilometers. Sure. I soon was able to do that when <laughs> I found out all the cars are passing me. <laughs> and then we came upon a wreck. Uh oh. Well, if you're going 100 miles an hour, <laughs> you have to use a parachute uh, in the back of your car to mm -hmm. stop it, right? Now, have you checked out the price of gas lately? Dropped. It has again. a little bit. This is what the cheapest holiday weekend gas price mm -hmm. since 2005 or something. Yeah, we don't like like the word cheap. Well, in, inexpensive. Cost, this is cost a, effective. Okay. Most cost effective weekend for the price of gas. <laughs> Well, what do you like? <laughs> we don't like the word cheap. <laughs> uh, or problem. Oh, I know. We don't yeah. like that at all. Yeah. Okay, at First Federal, we're open today until 5 o'clock, and tomorrow until 8.30. ATM is always open. Uh, of course, we'll be closed on Monday, July the 4th. We're having our Customer Appreciation Day Friday, July 8th, coming up a week from today. It's our 50th anniversary, and we'll have Rochester Meat and Deli serving lunch. The shredding truck will be there. That's a very popular yeah. aspect of your bring, open house. Customer bring your days. things yeah. that you'd like to have shredded. They can even give you a certified receipt right. if you are interested in that. And uh, I used that service a year or so ago, and it was amazing. Just amazing. And, and how quickly it yeah. just dropped it in there and shredded it up, and you're off and gone. That's the name of the game. I you know. want to be efficient and uh, move right along. Well, okay, the, the shredding truck will be there from 11 to 1. Okay. And uh, we're going to have something new, as we mentioned, that we're going to have ice cream from uh, Sally by the Shore. Excellent. And Tom and WR. Oh, and yeah, we'll uh, be there. RTC is going to be there. We'll be there. So next Friday, will you be in charge of weather? I sure will. Okay. That's good. Uh, today is our Plymouth, at our Plymouth breaks that are having their customer appreciation day. So if you're in the area, stop by at uh, 2113 North Michigan Street and uh, they'll have some free stuff. There. Excellent. First Federal is FDIC insured and an equal housing lender and our NMLS number is 3999927. That's uh, correct. Got it right. That's yeah. correct. <laughs> Been I practicing it. I don't think you've ever. I don't think you've ever missed it, have you? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>
<laughs> well, if you don't if you don't say that, you go to jail. Oh, we don't want that. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. No federal, federal regulation. Yeah, you you they people out there got to know we're properly licensed right. and all that stuff. Do you have to get any licensing for broadcasting? Sure, we do through the yeah. FCC. Absolutely. Okay, you're legal. Yes. Okay. Yes, everything's up to date. Yeah. Used to be a seven year term, but they've extended that to fifteen now. So. <laughs> okay. Ho Fifteen. Ho hum. Okay. Speaking of uh, no, not speaking of a ho hum. We have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gloria. What an introduction. <laughs> Gloria, we're glad yes. to have you. Nobody, oh, thank nobody you. can call you a ho hummer. No, not at all. No. Or yes, for life of the party. Oh, like that. yeah. We'll okay, <laughs> you're you're representing Lake Manitou Association. You also yes. have an Ivy Tech hat. Right? Oh, of course. I, oh, I never forget my Ivy Tech hat. Uh -huh. And uh, but uh, yeah, today today it's all about Lake Fest, though. Okay, and tell us about Lake Fest. Lake Fest is coming up, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's uh, next week, next Saturday. Uh, July 9th and it's going to start off with um, a 5k run we've been doing this now for four years uh, it's out at the Moose Lodge and uh, you can it'll start at um, 8:30, but you can come in and register at 7:30. and of course we're doing pre-registration now uh, for it and uh, it will uh, it will go hills and dales and it's a walk run so okay. we can even we can even walk it if we want to and uh, so that's uh, what we'll start off the day with and then we have a new event and I'm just so pleased with it uh, it is a youth fishing clinic okay that is going to be it's called getting hooked on fishing excellent and it's for ages six through twelve. And um, it was pre-registration, and we have it all filled up. We That's have, a good thing. We have all the youth there. We're going to be fishing at the, the race by the hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Bass Masters are, are coming in and are going to be assisting the, the young folks with baiting their hooks and, uh, you know, getting, you know, casting and doing all that. And then a very nice thing is that the Bassmasters made arrangements for Cabela's to donate uh, fishing poles. Oh, Every great. child that will be there will get a fishing pole. Wow. Terrific. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so I'm going to be out there with my grandson. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and so uh, we're going to uh, be looking for the big ones there and uh, <laughs> uh, catching uh, catching fish. So that's going to be in the morning. Um, no, no, that's it seems like a really great idea. We got a great facility there at the hospital. Yes, indeed. Uh, and of course the lake and to teach these young people a little bit about fishing. Right, and we want them to it's a, it's a lifelong hobby and you can you can do this uh, forever, but we want to uh, talk about, oh, also, I, I almost forgot, the DNR is going to be there, um, Officer Cook, and he, John Cook, and he's going to be talking a little bit about fishing, about the right way to do it, sure. the catch limits, uh, types of fish, so it's going to be very educational, and that's one of the big missions of Lake Manitou Association is that we want to inform, we also want to provide entertainment um, and uh, education. Sure. So uh, that's yep. that and uh, the, the uh, youth uh, fishing and then the night is the big party. Okay. And uh, we, that's actually um, our uh, dinner and um, it'll start at six o'clock and then uh, we'll have a live auction and a raffle. And uh, it's a fifteen thousand dollar raffle. Not not all one money, but there will be five one thousand dollar winners, and then two grand prizes of five thousand dollars each. Excellent. Wow. Right. Excellent. Okay. Now, people that want to get in that raffle, how can they? Well, you can buy tickets. Uh, we've got several places that are selling. The Moose is selling. Rochester Glass. Uh, Timberwolf, um, Rochester Boat Company, 
Uh, all of the Lake Manitou Association um, board members have tickets. I have tickets, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and they're twenty dollars a piece. Okay. Um, and this is a fundraiser for the lake. And uh, um, our membership, when they um, get their membership, they will get uh, uh, free tickets according to the level of membership that they uh, purchase. And uh, so, again, it promotes people to belong to the Lake Manitou Association. And I'm, I'm very impressed. We have 300 members. Uh, and there's about 550 households around the lake. Well, not necessarily all Lakers either, right? No, no, no. And uh, we, have, uh, we have businesses that are sure. members. And uh, so this raffle is an event um, is our one big fundraiser that we do. Now you just had your annual meeting last weekend, right? Yes, we did. Anything and particularly that came from that? Oh, I tell you what, a group of people. Um, I had it set up. We normally have about 30 people mm -hmm. that come to that. We had 60. And it was it was packed at Ivy Tech. We had it over there at Ivy Tech. And we had a lot of board seats that were up. Our, our terms for board members are three years. And we had... Um, uh, we have a board of 13. We had six uh, seats that were up, which is a, a large number. We normally don't don't have that. And so we had um, new members elected, and some of our folks uh, retired. In fact, um, off of the board this year, and we're going to be expressing thank yous to these people, Ron and Janet Holcomb, who are managing our youth fishing clinic this year, uh, Brady Bryant, Phyllis Dousman and Mitch Hayes. Um, they are going off our board and we are welcoming onto our board um, Kenny Anderson, Greg Robinson, Abby Reaney, Steve Hearn, and David Hyatt. Great. So some really good leadership is coming Excellent. onto the board. Um, and um, so we had uh, Bonnie Moss, who is the co-chair of um, the uh, Lake Fest. She was re-elected back onto the board, and she's okay. also our treasurer. She and so, Lisa Ruffett are the uh, yes, chair people they of are the, the yeah, so, Lake Fest. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, fond of that Lisa girl. She's my daughter. <laughs> 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 and uh, they are co-chairing the Lake Fest with all the parties, and, and it's a Roaring Twenties theme. So get out the flapper dresses you and, uh, you know, uh, and those uh, fedoras, and uh, um, that's our theme for the, the actual party. We're speaking this morning to Gloria Carvey of, of the Lake Manitou Association. You have an official title with the Lake Manitou Association? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a board member. Okay. Uh, one of those 13 okay. All <laughs> right. board members. Well, I know you guys do a great job out there. We talked about the golf course being a real asset of this community. Uh, certainly the Lake Manitou is the stable one. Yes, they, they've, they've actually been around for a long time. They were, they were formed in the 50s the association and uh, you know I'm always really proud because my dad was on the Lake Manitou Association was it? yes way back when and um, I uh, I'm really uh, proud to be on the Lake Manitou Association now now what are some of the things that the Lake Manitou Association does or support during the year well uh, as I mentioned that we are definitely uh, into preservation of the lake and with some of the concerns that we have right now uh, of course, the hydrilla. We've been living with killing hydrilla for 10 years. It's been a very long, long battle. And we think that we're getting very close to eradication, but it has come at a cost. It really, they've, they've the, and it's cost millions of dollars. The DNR has been uh, footing the, the bill for this. And um, it has um, it virtually destroyed most of the weeds in the lake. And you might say, ooh, that's a good thing. <laughs> but technically, for a lake to be healthy, they have to have a certain amount of native weeds in there. And Thanks. so it, they're coming back through the creeks, but um, we, we definitely need to um, you know, make sure that we don't get those invasive species like uh, milfoil, which can clog up a lake and hydrilla back and uh, and promote 
crew up the fish. And uh, so that, that's important. But we also have to maintain the weeds. We can't have a clogged up lake even with native weeds. So the lake is there to kind of help monitor. How's the prairie coming along? The prairie right now is empty. Okay. <laughs> it is empty. It is marked off. It's marked off. Right. It's extremely shallow. And the reason we keep boats out of there, first of all, it's not good for your boat uh, or jet ski because you're, you're sucking up all that muck. Uh, but it, it blows that into the lake and you get water clarity uh -huh. issues. And right now, water clarity is only about a foot. If you look down into the lake, you can only see about that far. And we, we've got to get our lake clearer. Okay. You know, and that's important. Okay. Uh, for those that don't know, where is the prairie and how is it marked? The prairie is 43 acres and um, it's, it's dr almost directly out in front of the moose. Right. And back when, I, you know, before they started treating the lake, it was bulrushes. Um, it had a lot of bulrushes in there and it was uh, a fishing. It was yeah. where the fish would spawn. And people didn't go into the prairie because it was, you couldn't, yeah. <laughs> those bulrushes. But now, it's, it's very shallow. I mean, you, you want to stay clear of it okay. with your boats. Okay, to wrap this up, uh, Gloria, tell us again uh, uh, the activities, the highlights of the activity next Saturday. Well, um, the youth clinic is all full. Uh, everybody's registered for that. But our dinner and auction is going to be 6 o'clock. It's at the Moose Lodge. Uh, tickets uh, for the dinner are $25. Gerettis is catering, so it's going to be really good food. Um, and we're going to have some games, and I'm going to have Manitou Trivia contest. Excellent, excellent idea. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and so we're going to have some games. Then we're going to have our, our live auction, and um, we're going to end uh, at the end of the live auction with a raffle. And then we're having an after party, and I'm very excited about that. We're going to get in our boats, <laughs> and we're going to go over to the Elks. That's right. Okay. And Sentimental Journey. Okay. That is a, 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 a band that plays all that good big time Thank music. Thank you, Joyce. <laughs> oh, yes. And uh, we're going to have a 50-50 drawing over there, and we're going to continue the evening at the Elks. Excellent. Yeah, thank, Excellent. Thank you, Larry. By the way, uh, just just a quick note: history of Lake Manitou. If you pick up one of Jack Overmeyer's books, uh, the late oh, Jack Overmeyer, yeah. he did such a wonderful job sure laying did. out the the various parts of Lake Manitou and the history as to how it developed. And uh, mm -hmm. those are those are well worth reading. Oh, absolutely! In fact, my trivia contest, I lean on <laughs> I lean on Jack a lot for his. That's <laughs> right. Thank you, Lori, for yeah. stopping by today. Well, our trivia this morning was uh, three of the first five United States presidents died on the 4th of July. Which one of these choice died on the 4th? Was it George Washington or Adams or Jim James Madison? John Adams. You're right. He and Thomas Jefferson both died on the 4th. Okay, and then what's the third one? Uh, if it's one of the first five, it'd have to be Monroe. That's right. Ah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, the guy. wow! Oh, the guy. I just won good. money. I just won money from First Federal. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> you won the trivia contest. <laughs> yeah, checks in the mail. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, from anonymous, you know he's pretty popular. Yeah, very much so. Three things in life are guaranteed as a U.S. citizen: death, taxes and an Independence Day celebration. Ah, well said. Aww. Dick Belcher, thank you very much. Gloria Carvey, thank you for being here this morning. Thanks for all you do for the Lake Manitou Association. Scott, as always, a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Buying your first home? Let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender.